just to clarify those scriptures, it's John 15, 5 and Philippians 4, 13, not 16. Thanks. Good morning and welcome to Woods, Water, and the Word. And this is Sunday Morning Word and I'm excited about being with you all this morning. It is February the 20th, 2022. Uh, got up this morning, good frost on the ground. It's supposed to warm up to about 70 degrees. My phone's been saying we got pollen alerts everywhere, and although the pollen is a is a mess to deal with, sometime I know one thing: those big old bass are fixing to get up on the beds. And anyway, that's not what I'm here for this morning. What I'm here for this morning is exciting. I want to share with you a portion of scripture this morning, and hopefully encourage you this morning. Uh, and uh, you might be saying, "What in the world does he have on his desk this morning?" Well, I'm gonna get to that in just a minute. But in your Bible. In John chapter 5, in verses 1 through 8, I'm telling you, it's, those are exciting verses, as all of them are, and I could preach for a long time on that. But what I want to do this morning is I want to concentrate specifically on verse 5. The scripture says this. Listen to this. This is Jesus talking. He says this. I am the vine, and you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Y'all listen, that may have been the first passage of scripture I ever memorized, or first verse I ever memorized in my life. And I'm glad, I'm glad that was it. And the reason for that is, is I need to understand who I am in Christ. And you need to understand who you are in Christ in order that we can accomplish things for him. And that's the reason that I've got this uh, these these props on my desk, if you will. This is a, a boy. This thing's looking terrible now that I'm looking at it close. This is a Drake Elm that I that I kind of got rooted and planted back in the last summer from my daughter. She was wanting a Drake Elm, and uh, I don't know if it survived the winter or not. We'll see here pretty soon what happened. But uh, if it did, it's going to grow pretty good. But enough of that but what I want to show you here is this is here's some straggly scraggly looking limbs on this little plant right here and uh, and this would be considered the vine or the trunk of the tree if you would and none of these limbs are going to survive unless they're attached to this trunk because this is where the nourishment comes from this is where the 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 water comes from is through that trunk or through the, the main vine and obviously Jesus was using the illustration of like a uh, uh, grapevines or a uh, vineyard of the limbs being attached to that and what this is is uh, this is a limb that's not attached to nothing and it's already got some some type of a uh, fungus growing on it and uh, it's dried up and uh, it'll make good starter for a weenie, wo weenie roast fire outside but other than that it's useless and it doesn't abide in anything that's what this passage is talking about to us this morning is Jesus is saying look I'm the vine I'm the trunk I'm the one that that has the nourishment and if if you abide in me that means I'm abiding in you and with that you're gonna bear much fruit and y'all listen I pray that we all have a desire to be fruit bearers for the Lord Jesus Christ you know we we were fishing yesterday had a tournament yesterday and I was thinking about a uh, fishers of men and look I, I want to catch a fish and, and had fun at the tournament and I, I think I'm going to share a little bit about that on another video maybe this afternoon I'll do it but uh, but y'all I, I want to be fishers of men because I want to the fruit that I that I receive from from setting the hook on a fish if, if I'm going to bring one home and eat it I mean I turned all mine loose everybody did but if I'm going to bring it home that's the fruit and that's just a temporary nourishment you know that's what it is. But when you start gathering fruit of men and you become fishers of men, that fruit is eternal. It lasts forever. And y'all listen. So if, if in order to, to, to bear that fruit, I need to abide in Christ. And you do too. So this morning, as, uh, as you're getting up and maybe you're getting ready to go to church, I hope y'all, because man, listen, don't forsake the assembly. 
Y'all, we need to be together as much as we can, stirring up love with one another. But as you're getting ready for that, think about that. Think about it, abiding in Christ. Because, see, even the believer a lot of times appears to be a dead limb. And y'all, listen, if that's you this morning, just turn your eyes back upon Jesus. Listen, if you've accepted, accepted him as your Lord and Savior, let him be your Lord and Savior. I'm telling you, what is it, Philippians in chapter 4. I'm looking at a spider crawling up this limb. Philippians chapter 4, 16, I believe it is. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Man, listen, that abiding in Christ not only strengthens us, but it causes us to be fruit bearers, just like this passage says. Remember this. It doesn't matter who you are. You can do nothing apart from him. I can do nothing apart from the Lord Jesus Christ. Man, what a thought this morning. That's a thought of encouragement to me. I don't want to be able to do anything without him. I want to know that I have to have Christ in my life because I know us as a, as a people. If we think we can do things on our own or we can get away with something, we will. It's good to know Jesus is the one that we need to be connected to. And I hope you're connected to him this morning. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, ask him to reveal himself to you. And I'm telling you, he will. And then believe in your heart into righteousness. Confess with your mouth into salvation. Call upon his name and you shall be saved. Praise the Lord for that. Thank you all for watching this morning. I uh, thank you for all my viewers, uh, those that have subscribed, those who are sending likes. And, and again, this is the most exciting thing I do. Uh, I know y'all are getting tired of hearing this. We're still trying to figure this thing out. And, uh, and we'll, we'll get better at it. Uh, I would say I promise, but I better not do that because I'm just hoping we get better at it. We'll see you on the next episode of Woods, Water, and the Word.